So roughly speaking, the book makes a bit of a journey from denial to some sort of acceptance. And the problem about letting go of denial is then you have to go through the shame phase, even though there shouldn't be shame, but there always is shame. And there's a feeling of kind of having to step outside of whatever you've been hiding behind uh, and feeling quite exposed. Um, and when I was little, I was obsessed with the facades of houses in Hollywood, you know, like when you have um, a Western and there'll be the saloon, but then all the other houses are just the fronts of houses. And I decided to use that memory um, to tell a story of this adult feeling. Uh, so this is a poem called 48 Veneer Avenue. Imagine a hologram fire, paper angels stuck to fake frosted windows, snow sugared roof, a creaking weather vane featured in the film score, epiphany motif like a harpist trill. Bling. Picture a broad porch, generic actor coming home for Christmas with a necessary speech, shiny tower of gifts balanced under his lantern chin. That is my house. As seen from the street. Behind the front, where I live, it's mostly scaffolding. Audio equipment. I sit cross-legged in the sawdust, clutching a mic. Daddy's home, mummy. My domain is domestic sound effects, ghosts of the throat, sweet impressions. On clear days, still, I imagine you'll come knocking at my door to meet me in person. <laughs>